I'm Svein Egil Nielsen. I'm Chief Technology Officer at Nordic Semiconductor. So Nordic Semiconductor is in fact an old company that's been doing semiconductor design for more than 30 years. In the last 10 years though, we've become the market leader in Bluetooth Low Energy and evolved into become a, a known figure worldwide. We've been focusing on doing connectivity solutions, wireless solutions for many years. And if you go around today, you'll see that most products you find is the wireless product. And given the fact that we chose to be wireless many years ago, we've been successful in developing products for today's market and for hopefully to tomorrow's market as well. We are at CES exhibiting at the Sands where we've been for many years. This year, we're showing more products again than we did last year. We're showing multi-protocol devices, our new NRF91 devices. And, and behind us, you see a booth manned by more than 30 people busy talking to customers during the whole week. I'm Peter Rand. I'm the product manager for Cellular IoT at Nordic Semiconductor. We got into cellular uh, through our low power uh, background and wanted to make something that could last for a very long time on a very small battery. And the, we've uh, hired on a team of engineers in, in Finland who have an extraordinary background in cellular and have made a very powerful and flexible modem that supports LTM, narrowband IoT and GPS. Development kits are, we have two different ones here that we're showing today. One that we're selling right now, which is the standard development kit, the NRF9160DK. This is the workhorse for software development. It supports uh, onboard emulation, Arduino interface for connecting different uh, types of sensors, as well as standard buttons and LEDs. And then we have the NRF9160 thingy, the thingy 91. That is a reference design for asset tracking. That is a proof of concept tool uh, that includes a battery, a SIM card, and a, a vast range of sensors, as well as the NRF9160 itself. The Thingy 91 is really exciting because it incorporates all the things that are needed for asset tracking into a customizable uh, development tool environment where we provide all the software, reference designs, etc. And it's, it comes in a plastic package. We have um, everything needed uh, in open source. And then uh, you can just go create. And it works out of the box. I think it'll be a great tool for proof of concept and really getting the adoption of LTM, narrowband IoT, uh, up in the asset tracking space. The Thingy 91 uses MQTT over TCP and TLS, so a secured connection over an LTM interface and it connects uh, the accelerometer data, in this case, to our web server that shows uh, whether the device is upside down or right side up. Cellular using LTM and narrowband IoT gives the opportunity of running really low power end nodes. So you can replace Wi-Fi that is cumbersome to set up or, or Bluetooth low energy that requires a gateway or a phone by LTM or narrowband IoT and go directly to your cloud service. So the device is always connected. And when you sell it, it's already pre-provisioned and can go directly online. It will stay there as long as there's a battery left. So currently we're working with a range of asset tracking solution providers, as well as uh, medical, uh, smart city applications and metering. And uh, we foresee that this will go into applications that we haven't even thought about yet. Being, being at CES gives you that early year energy boost. You meet a lot of customers that made products that really truly revolutionized the world. Things that you can't dream about and CES is the place for dreams and hopes and new products. So being part of that, being part of the industry that innovates and makes things and lives better for people, that's a great benefit. And we want to be doing that going forward too. We also be recognized knowing that our products are, are, are something that you're, you're appreciated with the customers out there. That's what makes CES such a great place to be.